everybody, it's Adam, and we are at the Heart Valve Summit here in Chicago, Illinois. We're answering your questions that were posted at heartvalveblog.com. Thrilled to be standing next to Dr. Kevin Akla, who practices at the Florida Hospital Cardiovascular Institute. And we're going to answer a question that came in from Jake. And Dr. Akla, Jake writes, I hear a lot about minimally invasive procedures being much better for pain and recovery. Is that true? Well, Adam, a lot of people, and particularly if Jake gets on the internet, he's going to just see a, a whole potpourri of, of information on minimally invasive surgery. And obviously, minimally invasive when it comes to gallbladders and, and various other entities within the body, it, it can be much less painful. They heal quicker. And, and in fact, gallbladders, when I was in general surgery, they used to stay in the hospital six, seven, eight days. Now they, it's a day surgery. So it is a truly advancement uh, when it comes to some of the general surgical procedures. In regards to heart surgery, I think what Jake has to remember is that it's still heart surgery. And regardless of the approach, whether it's through a thoracotomy or a smaller incision or through a partial sternotomy, it still has the inherent risk of heart surgery. Now in regards to healing quicker, obviously a smaller incision is going to heal quicker. Surgically, we oftentimes speak of, instead of minimally invasive, alternative sur surgical approaches or lesser incisions, but that quantitates, of course, with lesser invasive or minimum invasive surgery. Unfortunately, Jake, too many people think when they hear the term minimally invasive, they think it's less risk. So I want to dispel that notion that it isn't you know, less risk. Great point. Now, minimally invasive surgery or alternative approaches to heart surgery, though, do afford the patient oftentimes with less blood transfusions, typically smaller incisions, oftentimes more aesthetically pleasing to depending on where the incision is or what the plan procedure is. And so subsequently the patient is able to do things sooner because they've had less of their sternum open, they've had less trauma to their skin or to their structures while we get to the heart to operate on the heart. But again, Jake has to remember it's still heart surgery and that there still is an inherent risk of heart surgery built into any type of incision. So that's a good question. So Jake, what I would advise you to do is talk with your surgeon and your physician mm -hmm and explore the various options, but realizing that it is still heart surgery, and at the end of the day, Jake needs to have a good operation that is as less risk in the best hands that he has capable to him in his area to perform whatever ailment is with his heart. So he gets a good result and a good long-term result, because that's what's important, that he gets a good long-term result with his surgical procedure. Great. Well, as always, Dr. Akla, thanks for taking the time to stop oh, and uh, chat with us and answer our questions. I know that the viewers out there really appreciate all that you're doing. I know you've touched their lives and you've touched their hearts, and we all really, really appreciate it. So thanks so much. Well, absolutely, Adam. And again, I can't extend to you how grateful we all are from a surgical side and from a healthcare side in uh, everything that you do to educate patients uh, truly from a grassroots forum. Oh, and nice. so that's just outstanding. My patients love it. They bring their book in and they say, well, Adam says. So I say, yeah, that's what Adam says. So uh, again, thank you. You've worked hard and you've just developed this uh, all on your own. And we're just, we're proud of you to, that you've done that. As I know, there are numerous patients who have, have gainfully uh, benefited from uh, your educational experience as well. Well, on behalf of all of them, thank you it's so much. Pleasure. Really appreciate thank it. Thank you. Singing in the dead of night Take these broken wings And learn to fly All your life You were only waiting For this moment to arise 